Ladies and gentlemen, moving on. Next up, we have Mr. Sunayan Mitra, Director, Coffee and Beverages, Nestle, South Asia region. He'll be discussing the world at our fingertips, the science and art of fingertip marketing. Mr. Mitra has 24 plus years of experience in a diverse set of roles spanning general management, strategy, marketing, and sales operations in FMCG MNCs. Developed commercial and strategic expertise out of experiential learnings from a variety of responsibilities that range from successful creation of new businesses to generating high growth for robust businesses. Currently, Mr. Mitra is leading the beverages business at Nestle for the South Asia region. He's passionate about people, brand, and businesses. And we couldn't be more excited to hear you out here, sir. Over to you, Mr. Mitra. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, sir. So good afternoon, everyone. Over the next 15 minutes or so, I will take you through the science and art of fingertip marketing. Mobile is very much what is the way forward for us and has encompassed all our lives. Now, what is science, what is art, and what is marketing? And how can we differentiate them? Now, we all have our ways of interpreting. A simple way which I had, I interpret them as science is the thought while art is the expression. So in marketing, we have a part which is the thought, which is comes from consumers, their behavior, how they are can be reached. And the art is how we express that into things which they can comprehend. And marketing is all about translating a consumer a brand promise into what the consumer needs so if we go forward with this and how india as a country is and the kind of challenges which we face as marketeers it's diversity which has often defined india so when we are launching a campaign we often think of how many languages do we need to work on how many uh, edits do we need to work on we have more number of languages official languages than countries in europe we have more number of towns and more number of par no more parts of the country where we need to take care of whether what we try to communicate as a brand promise is what is getting understood so therefore Conventionally, we always had different ways of communicating the same piece of communication, which was either dubbed or we had to we had to go back to the drawing board to think whether it could be interpreted or understood, be it when we are talking to rural audiences, when we are talking to urban audiences. But let's see what's happening in the fingertip world. I'll just check whether the sound is playing. If it's not, please let me know. I'll play quick, short videos. Suddenly, there is one language which is 
reverberating across towns, across lang languages, and across ACCs, where be it a superstar, a commoner, or somebody from one of the villages, they're all suddenly being united in what is the new fingertip world we are getting into. So today's world is an attention economy. And it is content, which I will come to it again and again. It is content which will define how engaged your audience is and how much is she willing to listen to what you have to put up as a brand. Now, how has the audience changed in terms of attention span? In 2000, it was 12 seconds. It came down to eight seconds in 2013. And finally, if we look at Gen Z today, it's 2.8 seconds. And it's said that the goldfish has an attention span of nine seconds. So that's the kind of attention span we are dealing with today. And it is extremely important, therefore, the content which we have is meant to engage our evolving consumer behaviors as we see. Now, digital is reality, and it's exploding in India like nowhere else in the world. It is today the number one data-consuming country. And a big part of that is that the data cost is one of the cheapest. And with Geo coming in a few years back, the data cost reduced by 17x. Now, these are things for a marketer, which is which on one hand puts a lot of hope and a lot of excitement that Indians check social media 13 times on an average. They also remember, people recall content on newsfeed after seeing it for just 0.25 seconds. And four in five businesses get a direct message on social media. So they're engaging. And 83% of people on Instagram have discovered new products earlier what was very difficult for small businesses to reach out to, suddenly there is a medium in which we can do so. And if you look at how does consumer behave through the day, these are scenes from some parts of the world, but you see that very, very similar stuff in our lives and you can very well picture yourself checking your phone on the go. Of course, you need to be safe because that's something which is which is of very high importance with mobile. More and more we are getting uh, news that people are having accidents because they are checking their mobiles while walking. But on the go is 70% of uh, checking on your mobile. There is 20% where you are leaning forward, a break between two meetings or between your household chores on a Saturday when you have that time. And the other 10% is when you lean back and you actively search out new communication or new content. So as marketeers, there are three clear ways of how we make our brand messages stand out. On the go is an immediate one. People don't have time to do too much at that point of time to interpret complex messaging. Interactive is when you would like to engage and reply to either social media or on the brands. And the third one is when you're ready for an immersive experience and you would like to do it, to seek out more information and learn and educate yourself. This journey was always on, but the pandemic year has accelerated this journey. A few call outs on this fairly busy slide is, TV is seen to be gaining. While there was a part where TV lost, but TV viewership has normalized and it's massive. Still in India, it's massive, but digital has seen exponential growth. We have more TVs, more uh, mobile phones than we have TVs. And with the smartphone price coming as low as 3,000 rupees, we expect to have 1 billion users by 2025, 1 billion. And the new ways 
the consumer is engaging is vernacular search is up to 2.1 billion, voice search is up to 4.2 billion. These are ways of reaching out to specific consumer cohorts, which earlier was fairly difficult. And mobile has become an extension of life choices where you share, where you do it at your pace. You don't need to engage immediately. You wait for the right time. You learn and upgrade. That's when you are having immersive times. Of course, you would like to explore trends. You would like to convert into a purchase. And a consumer also wants to express her views. And there is a FOMO, which is a big thing in today's youngsters, the fear of missing out. So therefore, content, trending topics are extremely important. Therefore, our new way of creative practices are be visible, jo dikhta hai, wo dikhta hai. The same thing which was there in before this mobile explosion is still there. How you are visible is something we have to be very clear about, and I'll come to that in a minute. You have to be ready for a, a world where your communication should be effective, your message should come through even when there is no voice. So when while there are mediums coming in uh, new where voice plays a role, sound plays a role, there are major mediums where sound is just not there. And how your brand is visible, whether it stays in your memory or not, is again another part which we have to take care of. Now, content is the king and brands have to adapt. From the category which, which I handle, I'll share a couple of examples where we have to look at the platform format. Most of our phones are vertical formats. Our TV communication has historically been a horizontal format. So when you are engaging, it's important that you know that the platform format, format is right. It should work with or without sound. And the brand has to be visible in a non-intrusive way, in an interesting way, while you are uh, communicating. So I'll just play these short ones on this Cafe Gold. And this one is on Valentine's Day when uh, Nescafe Gold went out with a communication on uh, spending time with yourself, a very special person. Now, all of these work without sound as well, while sound does add to the overall communication. A few more examples where how brand stands out in front, and I'll pick up one example from Nespresso, a global example. It's not in English, but it will. you'll see that language is not really needed for the indulgence of a great cup of Nespresso coffee. It's a flat white over ice, and how it looks is what uh, is communicated, and the language doesn't matter. This one is a, a, another example from India where it was a consumer promotion with how to make a cold coffee, and it works without sound. So I'll play it without sound. Again, it is meant to talk about the product, which is free, and also the indulgence, which it generates. The next one is on Starbucks, again, which works beautifully in this format, vertical form format, talking about what you can procure, and it works without sound. 
I love my work and I'm always grateful to be sharing my work with you all. But sometimes it's so hard to get caught up. And ever so often when it does, I remember to pause and think a moment with the one thing that's been constant in my music journey. My glass of Nescafe Gold. Then I stay right in that moment for just a little longer to do something that uplifts me and truly brings me joy. What brings me happiness is hitting that perfect note, be it with music or with my Nescafe Gold. I love my work. So it is about content. The last one which you saw was an example of using somebody who was an influencer. Uh, the audience who follows that influencer has a certain need and a certain, they are looking for a certain kind of a message which they resonate with. Now, Mobile offers the right TG. Just look hard enough. And here today, we can reach out to different cohorts with different interests, which your brand talks to. Another example I will use is of what was used by Lactogrow, where the objective was to reach toddler mom moms, a difficult segment to identify on mass platform. So toddler moms, as specific as that, uh, just imagine if it was only TV and uh, print, there was really no way of reaching out only to them. But today we have the power to do it. And you can have partnerships with different uh, platforms to promote your product with a relevant message. And the results, 25% repeat purchases in a category which is fairly um, robust or established. The other one we had from KitKat is when we talked with Geo and engaged with youth beyond brand brand advertising, where KitKat break zones were made with eight playlists, reaching out to the cohort who gets uh, music or for whom music is important. The other one I will use is being able to repurpose your TVCs and leverage them in, in mobile in a way where youth who was the role model here can um, engage with it. So as a result, you have a TV commercial which then can be very soon repurposed into something which the youth en engages with and enjoys. Also social messaging. R recently, Nestle launched the Face of Hope campaign encouraging youth in middle India to mask up and be safe. There was, a, there is a way today to reach the mass through Facebook and Geo. And we had 280 million plus reach, 3 million plus pledges. 3 million people came on the platform and pledged to be using a mask. And it was right after the pandemic had, had uh, uh, hit in, in India, the second wave. And this was something responsible for us to do to encourage people to start wearing masks so that it becomes accepted. So that's all I had to take you through the wonderful world of fingertip marketing. This is a, a, a new area which is constantly evolving. So what is, what is the rule today? What is right today? We have to be always on our toes because it may not be the right thing tomorrow. And day after tomorrow, a completely new set of rules will emerge. So that's the exciting journey which all marketeers are going through. And it gives a lot of power and also a lot of responsibility for us to ensure that we do the right things as we move forward in our journeys. That's all I had from my end. Thank you very much for listening today. Thank you, Mr. Mitra. It is an absolute pleasure having you here. And we're so happy that you could make the time. 
and be here. I'm sure the audience really enjoyed it. 